Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at how the Yakima Exo system fits on the 2022 Ram 1500. So the Exo system is a very unique system. It's modular, you can put different accessories on it. Now we have the swing base and the top shelf, but we're going to put some different accessories on there. So whether you have a double up bike rack, you have the cargo box, which is this right here, or if you want to put some camp kitchen accessories on there too. The measurements and dimensions will work about the same way. So we're going to focus on how it works with a truck. If you can lower your tailgate, how easy that is to reach, things like that. So first, let's start with the swing away. So here we have the swing base lever and see how much distance we have between our bumper and our box. So really depending on your accessory down in the bottom that could make this easier or more difficult to access that lever. So loosen that lever and once that's loose you can then pull the knob here and make sure you're holding on to the end triangle and push this all the way out. Once this is pushed out you can hear that lever catch in the corner and this is going to be your out position. So if you have multiple accessories, please use the included jack stand if you're going to leave this out for an extended period of time. But swinging the entire exosystem away allows you to lower your tailgate. You can now get whatever you need from your truck bed, hang out over here, go on a tailgate, <laughs> things like that. You can have all this space because all of your accessories are swung out and they're still accessible. So you've got the Yakima double up bike rack, you've got your 50 pound weight capacity, 40 pounds per bike if you have it up here. But something different with it on the exosystem is the way you can access it. So you have your mounts facing this side, but you also have the mount facing this side. So that way you and your friend can take off your bikes or put them on at the same time. Now with it in this position though, notice how if you have the Hakama gear locker, you are not able to open up the lid. And that's okay because your top shelf can swing away as well. So once you take out the bolt and the hitch pin, if you use it, then this swings out all the way. So once you have the top shelf swung away, you can now open up the gear locker if you need to grab things. This is also a great way if you have the Gear Warrior or the box, whichever accessory you have, in order to take it off, you have all that room now. So for your vans, like your Sprinter vans, things like that, when you twist the top shelf away, that's usually when you have clearance issues with the wider or larger tires. Now in our case here, it's a perfect fit no matter what size of a wheel or a tire you have. It's just that if it's perfectly there, you are gonna have to lower your tailgate before you twist the top shelf around. So this system is designed to be enjoyed and used in a swing away position. So depending on your accessories, you might even have better luck with taking them off or putting them on while it's swung away. When you're ready to hit the road again, don't forget to swing the expo system back in. You have a lever in the corner, lift that and then pull on the handle. Just get that ramped up and tighten it back down. To switch out accessories super fast, it just means you press these, make sure they're in the turning mode, then you're gonna turn the knobs. And once they're fully loose, just lift this up and out and get your other accessory in there. The snowbank ski and snowboard carrier is a great way to show off how it fits into those cleats. So just make sure whatever accessory you're using, they are fully seated before you tighten down. And that once you're tightened down, you have it locked. So here's some quick measurements with the truck. The length added to your Ram 1500 from the bumper to the end of the swing base is gonna be 35 inches. Now your accessories are going to add a little bit more. In fact, the snowbank is going to be the longest accessory. Your ground clearance is determined by your hitch height. So the lowest point fits right there at the bottom lip of your hitch receiver. So to show off that, we have it where it's 21 and a half inches up above the ground. So plenty of ground clearance for those steep inclines like the driveways and hills. 
For the clearance in the back, the snowbank is also going to be the one that takes up the most space back here. So we have from our tailgate to the snowbank, three and a half inches of clearance. From the tailgate to the top shelf, it's going to be six and three quarter inches. So a lot of clearance there. In fact, we even have it where the backup camera is still visible, plus nothing goes over the tailgate. You saw the bike rack on there earlier, and where the bike handlebars sit, you're fine too. So while the backup camera is visible with the snowbank accessory, I can't say about the other accessories, your taillights are also visible, but your license plate is not visible. So if that's a major issue for you, check out the additional Exosystem license plate relocation kit that fits right onto the swing base. Now, every accessory has its own specific weight capacity, its own specific measurements, things like that. So if you're really curious about like how things change where you have an 80 pound weight capacity up top and then you have an even more weight capacity on bottom and that changes too, whether you have a top shelf or a swing base, things like that, check out our full product demo reviews here at eTrailer. I put a lot of work into them to explain how the weight capacity changes in different configurations. That will help you out a lot. But this is focusing on how it works with our Ram 1500. When you swing it away, it's awesome. You are gonna have to make sure you lower your tailgate though to get the full clearance. So it's an exciting system. It's modular, you can get a bunch of different accessories and it's a way to fully utilize the hitch of your truck. This is a look at the Yakima XO system on the 2022 Ram 1500.